introducing the 2x2 CL case suit and anti suit. Today we're going to be learning both of them and we're going to learn them together. Let's go. So before we get started, let's learn how to recognize. Well, the way you recognize is there are going to be three colors on top, right? Because one of them is yellow. Three non-yellow colors. Now, you're going to look for the two opposites, all right? There are going to be three different colors, and two of them will be opposite of each other. These two are the opposites, all right? Sometimes these two are the opposites, and sometimes these two are the opposites. And, of course, you all know what opposites are. Blue and green are opposites, and red and orange are opposites, and white and yellow are opposites, or black in my case. And the other thing you're going to do is, depending on where the opposites are, you're going to look for two colors and see if they're same or opposite. So in this case, if these two are opposite, what I check is these two colors. If these are the same, I know this is this case. And if they are opposite, like this, it is this case. And again, it depends on where the opposites are and what two colors you check. So if the opposites are here, you check these two colors. And of course, you know, the mirrors with anti-suit will be everything mirror. Now, as always, there is a starting position, all right? Because to recognize, you have to start from a certain point. And in this case, for suit, it's right here with the dots at the bottom left. And you got these three here. And this is because four out of six cases are held like this. As for anti-suit, it is just directly mirrored in the bottom right. You got these three. Because, again, many cases are held like this. So let's get straight into the Elks. The first case we all know and love, the regular suit, possibly the easiest CLL case ever. So the way you recognize this is you have these two opposite, all right, so the opposite are making this L case look, and then these two are the same. And it's probably the first OLO you've ever learned on two by two and three by three. Looks like this on three by three. R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. I'll just explain this even though you probably already know this elk. Just in case. R, you want to insert this edge. So it's like R, U, R prime. You're inserting the edge. Then you put this back here and then you put it, the edge back in. R, U2, R prime. So it's as simple as that. So the next case is the mirror of that, but the elk is not a direct mirror. At least the one I use. So again, got these two opposite. It looks like the L case, which we learned recently. And these two are the same, but that is not your starting position. You are going to hold it like this, at least the L got used. Again, you could do a direct mirror and it would look like this, but it uses too many L moves, not fast enough for me. So what I actually do is I hold it at the top right and it looks like this on a three by three. And I do R, U2, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime. That's the exact inverse of the regular suit. So the way it works, I'm sure you already know this out, but I'll just teach it. R U2 R prime takes this quarter here and U prime and you just insert it like that. Now we're gonna start getting into the cases that you probably do not know. This case, it's opposite here, but these two are also opposite. I hate this case so much, but you know, every CLL has to come up at some point. So you gotta learn it. It goes like this, you go U prime so that it's in the bottom right. You go R prime F R two F prime R U two R prime U prime R two. So just to clarify there, what I do is U prime and I do R prime F R two F prime. So that's kind of like a sledgehammer, but instead of the second R being like an R, it's an R two. So R prime F R two F prime. So what you're getting is these two right here. And you do R, U2, R prime to get them together on top, and U prime, R2 to put them back in the bottom. So for this case, I actually do the direct mirror for anti-suit. I actually like the mirror. It's actually not that bad. Uh, so these two are opposite. These two are opposite. So you do U, put it in the bottom left instead of the bottom right, like the suitcase. And you go L, F prime, L2, F. L prime, U2, L, U, L2. And that's not how you have to execute it. You know, you could change some L's to R's and then like change the U's into F's, whatever. It's all your opinion on what you want to do. And you'll start actually developing figure tricks for these elks. So don't worry, it'll come with time. So just to explain it again, the exact mirror, L, F prime, L2, F. It's like a left hand sledgehammer with an L2 instead of an L prime. And you have these two here. 
L prime U2 L, put them on top, put them into the bottom layer, and AUF, and you're done. Great, we've done four out of the 12 total anti-suit and suit cases. Let's keep going! The next case is opposite on top, and these two are the same. The official name for it is Nicholas. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And this is how it's spelled. You go R, U prime, L prime, U, R prime, U prime, L. Now you can turn that last L into an R, I don't care. Whatever you wanna do to execute these algs. Now to explain it, you bring this quarter up, R, U prime, and this quarter, the exact mirror of that L prime, U, and then bring this bar down put this thing here and then you can bring the bar down and then you'll have to AUF three out of four times. Now for the mirror of that, the anti-suit case, these two on top are opposite, these two are the same, L prime, U, R, U prime, L, U, R prime. It's easy as that, but I'll still explain it. L prime, U puts that quarter to the back, R, U prime puts that quarter to the back, bring this bar down, U, R prime gets this done. Boom, we are done! With six out of 12 cases, we are halfway there. Be proud of yourselves, guys. Let's keep going. Next case, these two are opposite, these two are opposite. So you might know from an OLL on 3x3. Three three. It's this OLL, what you might do is this. I don't know, most people don't use that ALG, but some people do, I've seen people use it. If you know the OLL like that, then you're good. You already know this ALG. F, R prime, F prime, R, U2, R, U2, R prime. If I went too fast there, I'll explain it. The backwards of sledgehammer, F, R prime, F prime R breaks that up. Then U2, and you're just gonna insert the corner from there. R, U2, R prime. And that is it. Now we're gonna get to the mirror. The anti-suit case looks like this. These two opposite, these two opposite. F prime L. F, L prime U2, L prime U2 L. You can do that last, L prime U2 Ls, R prime F2 R. Whatever you like. And now to explain it. Backwards of left hand sledgehammer, F prime L. F, L prime, then U2, and you're gonna insert the corner from there. L prime, U2, L. Guess what, guys? You've learned two thirds of it, man. Eight out of 12 cases. That is redonkulous. Let's keep going. Why give up now? So the next case is these two opposite on the right and these two opposite here. I actually really like this case more for the anti-suit, which is odd. And what it is is L prime U2, L U2, L F prime, L prime F. So really what it is, is this suitcase is the backwards of this anti-suitcase that we just learned, which is why the suitcase is not as good. So I don't think I even need to explain it. It's really intuitive. L prime U2, L puts that quarter to the back and you do U2, and then you do the left-hand slash ever. L, F prime, L prime F, and you're done. So now the anti-suit case, these two are opposite, these two are opposite. A lot better, honestly. R, U2, R prime, U2, R prime, F, R, F prime. So to explain that, R, U2, R prime puts that quarter to the back, you do U2, and then sledgehammer. And that's it. You guys have learned 10 out of 12 cases. One more, the worst case. Da, da, da. This is by far the worst suit case, but don't worry, you'll get over it. It's these two are opposite and these two are the same. You go U2, so it's in the top right, and then R, U prime, R, U prime, R prime, U, R prime, D prime, or what you could do is U prime, Y prime, whatever. R, U prime, R prime. So again, these two are opposite, these two are same, U2, and to explain it, R, U prime, R, U prime. You do R, U prime twice, and then you do R prime U R prime to put in this quarter. And then you do D prime and insert this quarter. And that's it. It's really not that bad. The problem here is that the anti suitcase is not a direct mirror. If you did do the direct mirror, it would be pretty crappy in my opinion. These two are opposite, these two are the same. You do U prime. All right, so put it in the top right. Just like the suitcase, they're always in the top right. R U R prime D. R U prime. R U R prime U R prime. So again, let's explain it. U prime. R U R prime D. All right, so that that quarter's out of here. R U prime. So we got these two quarters. And R U R prime gets this quarter here. U R prime puts it back. Sorry, I didn't really explain that well. It's a really unintuitive alg in my opinion. But that is it, guys. I did go quite fast paced in this tutorial. So if you guys have any problems with any alg, I can make a. I can make a private video just for you. 
And that does it, guys. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. It helps me a ton. You don't realize how much it helps me. If I get 100 likes, I will do a public monkey run where I will act like a monkey and run around in public. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. But, I mean, if you guys can get friends, I don't know. It's only one third of my subs. If I get 100 on any of my videos this month, I will be doing that because, you know, to celebrate June, you know what I mean? So that's it, guys. All that we have left to learn now are the chameleon cases. So I will be doing those soon. You can request it in my video request game below and ask for likes. And maybe you'll get picked. I will do it eventually, but I'll definitely do it soon if you are picked in my video request game. That's it, guys. Bye.